Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone I'm Selminia from Department of English Education Faculty of Language and Art University of Indra Prasta PGRI And now I'll practice to pronounce the transcript for my Finnish exam Which has been given by my lecture My Rosino Fayani Siregar I'd like to turn now to the object which is the main point of this talk, the helix. This is a fascinating mathematical object which touches many parts of our lives. Movement, the natural world, the manufactured world, and our genetic makeup are all connected to the shape of the helix. A helix is a type of three-dimensional curve. It goes around a central cylindrical shape in the form of a spiral, like a corkscrew or a spiral staircase. The helix is a very popular shape in nature because it is very compact. In fact, helices are sometimes referred to as nature space server. In architecture too, the helix shape of a spiral staircase is an attractive option in buildings where space is very restricted. The most renowned type of helix is probably the double helix of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is made of two helices that curve around each other, a bit like a twisted leather. DNA contains the genetic information or code that determines the development and functioning of all non-living things. The helix shelf It's a very efficient way to store a long molecule like DNA in the limited space of a cell. There are different types of helices. Helices can twist clockwise, right-handed, or anti-clockwise, left-handed. An interesting experiment is to hold a clockwise helix, such as a corkscrew up to a mirror. The clockwise helix appears to become counterclockwise. We can perceive examples of helices in many areas of our world. Spiral staircases, cables, screw and ropes can be right-handed or left-handed helices. A helix that goes around a cone is called a conical helix. Examples of conical helices are screw or the famous spiral ramps designed by the architect Frank Lloyd Wright in the Guggenheim Museum in New York. Helices are also prevalent in the natural world. The horns of certain animals, viruses, she cells, and the structure of plants, flowers, and leaves can all contain helices. The human hamilical cord is in fact a triple helix. With the discovery that the helix is the shape of the DNA molecule, it's not surprising that the helix is found in so many areas. It is one of the most natural shapes in nature. Let's turn our attention now to the mathematical description of the helix. You will need a pen and paper for the next part of the talk as I'm going to give you some variables to write down. Take your time to notice the difference. So I think that is enough for my pronouns. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.